Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a BMW X5, guys, pretty much with any engine, guys, four, six, eight cylinder gasoline diesel engine, guys, and you're trying to find out how to test your crankshaft position sensor, stay with us and we'll explain that today, guys, everything from start to finish. Now we'll demonstrate on six cylinder gasoline engine, N52 engine, but even if you have other ones, the procedure will be about the same. Uh, before we start, every single car we get at the shop, we make at least two to 300 free repair videos, specifically on BMWs, we make even more, guys. Why? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need, guys, in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video so we can keep providing that free information. Now, another thing guys, if you need to buy any replacement parts, tools, new crankshaft position sensor, we'll share the links in the description of the video below where we get our replacement parts from. So, let me show you guys, okay, what we have here now. What we're going to need, a tw uh, just a voltmeter, regular voltmeter that we're going to actually guys, okay, we're going to set it for uh, 20 volt DC voltage guys, okay, right here. 20 volt DC voltage. So this one is ready to go. Uh, it's recommended to have one alligator clip as well. This is just a regular clip. Okay, let me show you what it looks like. Okay, trying to focus here a little bit, but it's a little bit blurry. Okay, perfect. This is the clip guys right here. Uh, so that makes things a little bit easier if you're by yourself. Now, let me show you what else we need to do. You need to locate your crankshaft position sensor. If you have a six cylinder gasoline engine, most likely it's right under the engine starter right here, guys. We have a video from start to finish how to remove and replace one on six cylinder engine, so please check it out. Uh, now, this is, guys, the sensor itself. That's the sensor. The sensor consists of three wires, guys. Okay, three wires. There is a black wire in the middle. Okay, black wire in the middle. Uh, which is usually a ground wire, it may have black and white, black and uh, purple in different colors, but it's a little bit thinner than the other ones and that's a ground wire. Then you have two more wires, one of them is ignition wire and the voltage in that wire will be corresponding to the va battery voltage once the ignition switch is turned on. And the other wire guys, this is a signal wire, you will have about 5 volts in it. If you don't know which one is which, we'll show you how to find out. We'll disconnect the sensor, guys. We will go ahead and turn the ignition switch on inside the car to the second position. Or if you have a push start button, uh, push the button until you see the dash lights, but do not start the car and do not press on the on the brake pedal. That way the car will not start because as you can see, we have everything disconnected here, guys. So we'll go ahead, turn the ignition switch on and we'll continue. So now the voltmeter, guys, okay. We have it set at 20 volts here. We're going to touch the, uh, okay, check it out now. The black lead to the black wire. Okay, let me focus quick, one second. Perfect. Red lead to the yellow wire and we get about five volts, guys. Five volts, that's what we need. This is a signal wire. If you have about five volts, signal wire. The other outside wire, okay, it should be about 12 volts, 12.25. That's uh, the voltage that we have currently in our car battery. Now, it's recommended to uh, disconnect your uh, uh, turn the ignition switch off, reconnect the sensor. We have the signal wire peeled, but there is a special device that you can use actually to uh, clamp on it so you don't have to cut your wire open. But we're going to connect the alligator clip to that wire. We'll connect the red lead to the alligator clip that way. It's like touching this lead to the sensor wire, signal wire itself. And we can, guys, okay, apply ground wire with the black lead anywhere on the engine. And you should get about five volts reading, five volts. Now, if we leave the sensor up, okay, and we get a metal tool close to the sensor, we should get, uh, once you get the metal tool close to it, you should approach zero volts, guys. Almost zero, but not quite. So check it out now, zero volts. I remove it, five volts. Okay, let me ch check it. Zero volts, five volts. Zero volts, five volts, guys. So you can see, definitely, guys, okay, this is one working sensor. You can see how it approaches zero, one. So that's definitely, guys, a good sensor right there. Once you apply the two, you should get, guys, okay, you, you should get... Uh, uh, zero volts once you remove it you should get five volts hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure this thing out on bmw x5 thank you for watching and see you guys next time